All right, good morning. Today we're gonna to be going over the HR diagram. So buckle up, here we go. This here is a example of the HR diagram that you will be using uh, during this unit and on, your, on all unit tests and star tests. So get used to this, uh, what this looks like. I've written some things on here already and then we can, we can check it out. First thing you need to understand is that the HR diagram is broken up into measures two things. It measures temperature and it measures brightness. And they have different names for those, so make sure you're taking notes of this. On the y-axis is brightness. Brightness is also called absolute magnitude, so don't, don't let that bother you. And it's also known as luminosity. Brightness and luminosity also um, known as absolute magnitude. Doesn't matter what's over here. They could have wild turkeys and um, uh, uh, Big Macs. Doesn't matter. What you know is the higher you go on the HR diagram, the brighter. So for example, we have our sun here and you can find it by finding 1.0 because that's what we measure the sun at. And just come on over and you know it's in the main sequence, so there it is. And we also know that it's in G class because of its temperature, which is right around 5,000 um, Kelvin, okay? Don't let that bother you either uh, because they could have temperature reported in Kelvin or um, Fahrenheit or Celsius, doesn't matter. So we already know that as you move up, it gets brighter. Now, this is a very important point to make, and I'm gonna draw the arrow so you all can see it. As you move from the right to the left, the temperature increases. Look, 3,000 degrees, 5,000, 10,000, 30,000, and it even gets hotter than that, up to 50,000 degrees Kelvin, which is super freaking hot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, make sure we understand that. Bottom of the top gets brighter, from right to left, it gets hotter. So when you know that, you could break this whole thing up into quadrants, so four sections, and I already drew your lines there, okay? So we know that the top is bright and the bottom is dim. We know that the right side of the HR diagram is where your cooler stars are, and the left side is where your hotter stars are. So we know that this quadrant here is known as the bright cooler stars. And this one down here would be the cooler dim stars. Over here, we have your bright and hot stars. And over here, we have your hot and dim stars. That is what it is. There's nothing else to it. Um, what I did also is added some stars in here so you kind of can see where they go. We have the sun located here. We have Betelgeuse up here where it's bright and cool. These are also known as the supergiants. This group here is supergiant. This group here is the giants. 90% of all stars you see in the sky are along this main sequence. Okay. And then we also have Bernard's star down here, which would be known as a cooler dim star. A real hot star that is dim is Sirius B, and it's dim because it's small. And then we have Rigel up here, which is very, very hot, very, very bright. It's very, very big. And that's the end of it. That's your HR diagram review. And see you in class.